Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing types of inheritance in Python. Till now we have discussed single, multiple, multi-level and hierarchical inheritance. So one left is hybrid inheritance. This thing we will see in this video with the help of program. Practical also we will see. So first thing, what is hybrid inheritance? Hybrid means simple meaning of hybrid. This word is, we can say a mixture of two or more things. Right? That is simply hybrid. Something, you know, sometimes we call like breed of cow or buffaloes or this is of hybrid breed, right? Or we use hybrid seeds and for farming purpose. So those are mixture of two or more things. That is hybrid. So in case of inheritance, it is a mixture or we can say combination of two or more inheritance. That is hybrid inheritance. See, this is what parent one child one this is single inheritance right now if i mix this with something like this i have like maybe i have parent two child one and this is child two now this is simple this is single inheritance if you see this part then this is we have more than one parent and uh, only one child so this is multiple inheritance so this is combination of single plus multiple inheritance so this is we can say hybrid inheritance right something like this right like maybe grandfather then your father this is your father your mother and then you right this is combination of more than one inheritance right means two or more than two inheritance so this is what hybrid inheritance or something we can also derive something like this from there one more child from there one more child so this is what multi-level inheritance so this is a combination of one two and three type of inheritance so this is also possible this is hybrid inheritance right if i draw something like this this is combination of this one is multiple inheritance and this one is hierarchical inheritance so this is combination of multiple and hierarchical inheritance so this is also hybrid inheritance right and we also have something like this this is also combination of the first one this is hierarchical and this is multiple so this is also hybrid inheritance right so i hope now you got the basic idea of hybrid inheritance so if you want to use the maximum use of inheritance concept then we use in our program hybrid inheritance means more than one inheritance in our program right so that is basically the use of hybrid inheritance to increase the usability of this concept inheritance concept right now this this something like this as you can see the shape of this is it's a diamond like so this is also known as classic diamond problem right and what is the solution why it is called classic diamond problem that also we'll see in detail in next video right but for now you need to know this is hybrid inheritance the combination of two or more than two inheritance right now let's see this thing with the help of a program. Okay, so let's create a new file hybrid inheritance short py. Right, simple example, let's take like maybe I'm taking a class A. Right? And we simply define a function here. Display. Display from A class. And then we are having a class b and this b i'm having i'm inheriting from a class same display same function i'm going to take take but this time we'll print display function from b class right and suppose we are taking a sorry class c i'm not inheriting this class from any class it is independent class right class c and there I am having a function, sorry, simply like show, maybe like hi from C class, I am taking a show method, right? And one class, now D class, I am going to inherit from B as well as from C, right? So the first class A, class B, here, till now it is single inheritance right because we are having one parent one child class now we are having c class 
as well as D class which is hiring which is you know inheriting from B class and C class so two parent class so this is multiple inheritance so this is combination of single plus multiple inheritance so this is you can say hybrid one so maybe here also I can say like display right and I'm going to take my own definition display from D class now just take an object of class D suppose D1 and let's call with this CD1 dot we can call show method display method from D show from C and init from obviously there is no init function in these classes so from object class right because that is root class of every class so using D1 can I access this a display method like display from a class yes you can print this thing but directly you cannot print because if I want to access this display method then let's run this see display from D class it will call more specific methods what is the MRO method resolution order first it will search let's just print MRO of class D so class name dot we have MRO function so first it will search any attribute or method in its own class D class so display method we are having in having in D class yes so it will access this thing if not in this D class then it will search in B class in B class the first parent class is B then it will search in A class right it will search in B class then parent of B is A so it will search now in A class then it will search in C class right and then in object class right so this is MRO method resolution order now how this MRO would be calculated or how it's derived this thing uh, you know we'll see in next video in detail it will have a technique like depth first and left to right technique okay but it's different to find out MRO in old class style it's different and in new class style it's different so what is the difference that we'll see in next video right I hope no need to you know give more time to this hybrid inheritance because we have done multiple things multiple programs on inheritance so if you want to use super method like I want to display whatever in this a the sprint display from a also then using super function we can access we can you know access this method here or maybe using this class name also we can access so this thing we have discussed many times right you just try this out at your own now I have one question for you guys one assignment question so I hope now you got it what is a hybrid inheritance one question for you is you have to write down a program you have to implement this inheritance this type of hybrid inheritance first take a class parent class that, that is university class and there you will take one attribute university name and one method show details it will show the name of the university now from university we are having two child class one is course and one is branch every university we are having obviously multiple thing so I'm taking only two branch and course course means maybe engineering course management course architecture course something like this so here also same you will take course name and show detail it will show only course uh, any course name you can take static like course name is equal to engineering and you have to show the detail show the name of that course right in the in this show detail method here also you will have a show detail method here also here also you will have its own show detail method as well as it will show university name and course name in branch also branch name and show detail method right branch name show detail method will show university name and branch name now student one more child class and parent of the student is course and branch the student will also have one attribute student name and show detail method there it will show student name branch name course name and university name every detail then sorry this is not student this should be faculty one more child class of this branch is faculty faculty is also having its faculty name and show detail method 
So in show detail it will show faculty name, branch name plus university name. Right? I hope you can show, you can do this. You know method overriding, how to use super function and all. Right? So because we have done many, you know, programs till now of inheritance. So I hope you can do this. Right? So just try this out and you can write down the thing if you want in comment section right so now in the next video we will see what is that classic diamond problem in inheritance and what is the solution in python what is basically mro method resolution order so and i will see in the next video till then bye bye take care